Hey guys, uh, today we will try to understand uh, some basic syntax of uh, Python. We went through a review uh, in a previous session. Let's start with writing our first uh, program called Hello World. This is how you start with any uh, programming la language by saying or greeting the world with your new uh, learnings, yeah? So I say hello world and I either can play this button here or I can press control enter to execute the command. Here, yes, I have, I am the programmer now, yeah? So this is how you run your first program, yeah? Now what you need to understand is, uh, you need to understand few things about Python syntax, yeah? There are certain things which you need to uh, practice or uh, keep a look when you are uh, writing uh, codes in Python, yeah? So the Python uh, syntax defines a set of rules that are used to create a Python program, okay? Now this uh, kind of uh, programming language syntax has many similarities. So Python uh, as such has many similarities with uh, Perl or C or Java programming, yeah? However, there are some differences as well uh, between the languages. But let's try uh, to understand what it has uh, in store for everyone, yeah? So we wrote our first program, yes? How did it feel? I, I am really sure that you must have felt uh, really good seeing the first thing or the first program to get executed and you get your output very easily. Yeah. So let's understand uh, by taking a note of few identifiers in Python. So uh, there are a few identifiers. When I say identifiers, uh, Python uh, identifiers are uh, name used to identify a variable or a function, or a class, or a module, or any other object, yeah? An identifier starts with letter, uh, starts with letter uh, letter capital A to Z, or small a to Z, yeah? Or and underscore. You must have known underscore, which is this character, yeah. which is just above P, which is below minus sign. So underscore. Yeah. This could be uh, followed by by uh, zero or more letters as we have seen. So more letters could be A to Z again, yeah? Or you can follow it by underscore again. Yes. It by underscore again. And uh, you can follow it by digits as well. So anything from zero to nine, yes? So you can follow it with zero to nine, yeah? What identifier does not allow, yeah? So uh, Python uh, does not allow punctuations, yeah? Such as uh, at the rate, dollar and percentage within the identifier. So this characters 
are not permissible when you are creating an identifier. So Python is case sensitive language. Again, you need to understand that. It's a case sensitive language. Thus, uh, for an example, is uh, manpower or if you write Python and uh, Python, both are treated as a separate identifier. Yeah. So what do you need to understand about Python identifiers is uh, it start with upper, it can start with uppercase. Uh, it can also start with lowercase. Yeah. Starting an identifier with single leading underscore indicates that the identifier is a private identifier. Yeah. So if you start any identifier with a underscore, it will treat it as a private identifier, which we'll see in classes. So you do not need to worry about it right now. Just need to remember, if you start anything with underscore, uh, it will be treated as private in the entire Python uh, program. Yeah. Starting an identifier with two leading underscore indicates a strongly private identifier. Yeah. So if you start it with two underscores directly, it will uh, think it to be a very strongly private interval. Yeah. If the identifier also ends with two trailing underscores, then the identifier is a language defined special name. So again, if it is starting with underscore and ABCD, it is, you call it as private, yeah. You start with two underscores, any name, A, B, C, D, it will be called as, it will be understood as, it, it cannot be called, it will be understood as strongly private. Lastly, if you start with an underscore and end with an underscore, it will be considered as language defined special name. Yes. So this is what you need to understand uh, about Python identifiers. Other basics that you need to uh, look at is the reserved keywords. Now there are this uh, this reserved keywords, you cannot use them as constant or variable or any other identifier. Yeah. So these are special special words for Python. Yeah. Which you cannot use anywhere else. Yes. Now, uh, the reserves word are and, as, assert, break, class, continue, yeah, def, del, elif, else, accept, false, Mm, what else? Uh, finally, for, from, mm, global, if, import, what else? In, is, lambda, uh, none, non-local, not or 
pass, raise, return, prove, try, while, with, in. Yeah. So these are some of the identifiers uh, uh, which are being used at reserved words in Python. So you cannot use them. Now this reserved words, you cannot use them. Cannot use them as a constant or a variable or any other identifier. Yeah? So you can you cannot use them as uh, anywhere else. Yes. So you need to take care of this when you are using Python. So you cannot use all this uh, resolved resolved words in Python. Yeah. Next uh, thing that you need to understand is about indentation. Now, Python is a very, very uh, next. Uh, I'll just add indentation. Yeah. Now, Python is a very systematic language. Yes. Text rather than yes. So it's a very systematic language. Now this uh, programming language uh, provides no braces like uh, to indicate blocks or code for a class and function definitions of flow control. Now blocks are uh, code that are denoted by line indentation, which is rigidly enforced. Yeah. Now what happens is. Uh, there are blocks of code. If you have seen C or C++, you will have certain blocks of code that are pertain to a particular uh, condition or has to be executed in that particular block only. Yeah. Thus Python, all the, in Python, all that con continuous lines indented with same number of spaces would form a block. What I'm trying to tell you is, let me write a code of, uh, say, if true, yeah, it has automatically done an indentation. You see this? Print, I'll say, hello. Yeah. Else, print by. Yes, now I print this. By default, it has taken through. If through, print hello. Now, what Python does is for for it to understand. This is one block of code. Yes. And this is the second block of code. So if I try to write something else, print void. P has to be smaller. Yeah. So it to be treated as command. Yeah. Now see what happens. Hello, void. So it is treating this block as an entire code because it is indented by two spaces. If you see, there are two dots. These are very minutely seen. There are two dots and these are two dots. This shows me how much space it is indented with. Yes. So these are, these are very properly indented or there are same number of spaces before print. That's why it is treating it as one block. Yeah. And it is printing this entire thing. Wherein 
it is not printing anything which is coming after else even though this has the same distance as which was available in the previous command but the block has got separated after else yes so it is treating it as separate block so thus in a python all the continuous lines indented with same number of spaces will form a block yeah now i have a big code in one of my uh, other uh, programs i'll try to bring that here yeah now do not try to understand anything out of it i'm just writing it for your uh, just taking it for your understanding i'll not run this just to not worry about oh my god the how much line of code that i have to see but try to understand what is what we meant by trying to say the block of code now for try the block of code is this much yeah for except irf the block of code is this much yeah print is a separate line this print is a separate line which is a block of code now check this this is a loop while loop now anything which comes under y which is being indented in a same distance yeah till it is not being reindented by anything else it will form a block of code so from y till this it forms a block of code because there is nothing which is having the same alignment as y yeah whereas this if is a separate block of code within so this is nested block of code which is available within y yes so you need to always understand while running the running python how are you indenting a particular code so suppose i if i would have made this print come in line with if it will only print hello let's run this once again it is giving me error because this is a code let me put it down here i'll not have an else statement here i'll put it here or i'll indent it further let me see what happens yeah so it is giving me an error because the indenter has gone ahead but there is no block that is find uh, it is able to find which will match it to a particular code but if i pull this indentation inside in line with f it will print the hello world you we'll see this yes so this is how the code identifies the blocks and shows you how, which particular block is relevant to which statement so while you seen this again here in if you see this block of code is pertaining to if try this block of code is pertaining to this except this block of code is pertaining to except so you need to be very careful about indentation yes when you are working in python because a slight indentation may uh prob slight indentation may probably uh run your code into errors which would be a concern at a later stage yes so python all the continuous lines indented with the same number of spaces will form a block yes the next uh, syntax that you need to know about uh, python is is about multi line statements yeah 
Now statements in Python uh, typically end with new line. Yeah. So let me put the topic first. Yeah. Statements in Python typically end with new line. Yeah. Python does, uh, uh, however, allow the use of line continuation. If you denote it by uh, a character, which is backslash, yeah, continuation character. So, uh, if you use this continuation character, it will be treated as a same command. Yeah. So if I say total is equal to one plus two plus three. Yeah. And if I try to run this, it will give me an answer as six. It has to give me an answer as six. So print total. Yeah. And I say, right. So it is giving me the total as six. Now let's do one thing. I would try to break this. Yes. And I'll try to run this. It will, it may come up with error. Yeah. It has come up with error because the particular statement has gone on multiple lines. Now what I can do is I can put a continuation character line character, which is uh, this one. It is not seen here, but let me see if I'm now able to shoot. Okay, so this is continuation character. So if I add continuation character here, the command will run. Yes, it will treat it as multi-line command. Yes. Now statements contained within, uh, there are uh, statements which contain within, uh, there are uh, contained within uh, this brackets, yeah, comma, curly brackets, we saw square brackets, curly bracket and this particular bracket. Do not need to use the line continuation. Yeah. Do not need line continuation. Perfect. We'll try that as well. Yes. We'll see. Let me write days equal to Monday on Tuesday on Wednesday Thursday and I'll try to put it on another line. Yeah. Friday. Saturday, comma, Sunday. Yeah. Let's see if it is able to run it. I'll say print days. Let's see whether it runs. Oh, it has come with an error because I have indented it. So let me move it back. And let's run it. Yes. So you saw my indentation going wrong and it came up with an error, right? However, if I fix the error and you see the square brackets can be used as well as for a multi-line statement. Yeah. Now in the above code, You saw me using uh, quotations, 
Now, this is specifically used for strings. Let's understand uh, this one of the syntax again. Text, uh, I say quotations. Yeah. Now, Python accepts, it accepts single, which are this quotes, yeah, comma double, which are this one, yeah, and uh, triple, yes. So I can have uh, this three times, is it three times, two times, so, comma, or I can have double quotes three times, yeah. Now this particular quote means the variable or the content uh, of the of that particular line is a string so it is used for a string literal yeah so anything which is within the single quotes double quotes or triple quotes it will be treated as a string yeah so let me write something over here, uh, say word equals to, this time I'll use single quotes and I'll say word, yeah? And I'll say print word. What happens? Yeah? Now I want to see what is it, type. Type shows me the data type of a particular variable. I'll say, let me write something else here. Uh, I scan. Yeah. I'll find here the content of the word or the, uh, the thing which I had within single codes was a string. I can also have uh, uh, a sentence within uh, within this code. So I can say I like eyes can analyze. Yeah. And I'll say print sentence. Yeah, I have put it in double quotes. Let's try with triple quotes. Now, triple quotes are majorly used for multi-line statements. So if I have a paragraph, so if I have a paragraph, paragraph, my spelling is right, okay, paragraph, yeah, it's equal to, I'm right, I can analyze, And I love Python. So we need to have triple quotes in order to, to consider it as a single statement. And now I'll say print paragraph. Yeah, I'll run it. Yes. So this is how you can use the quotation marks, quotations uh, to put in your uh, data or string literals uh, while you are performing any action in Python program. Now, uh, another syntax that you need to understand is uh, about writing comments. Yes. Now, a comment is a 
programmer readable explanation or an annotation in a python source code it's majorly used to annotate something or suppose i am writing a, a python code and i want some, someone other or my colleague uh, who is reading that code to understand what i have written or what in what context i have written a particular program or a code i could write a comment on it which will help him to understand my code that makes the code uh, user friendly yeah so they are added with the purpose of making the source code easier for humans to understand or uh, your colleagues to understand now just like most of the modern languages uh, python supports single line as well as multi line blocks yeah so you can have multi line comment or single line comments for single line line comment we use hash yeah so for single line comment yes and we use triple quotes like if we put it in triple quotes it we can be multi line comment yes so let's try to understand it it's taking us comment it is taking here as yeah, i'll write hash yeah so let me see okay okay hash because i'm adding hash it is treating as an header like comment here you can see at the side how it looks like yeah so let's try something uh i'll put now when you are talking about comment it is something which will not run even though i put it in the coding uh uh coding uh section so this is where your code could be written if i write any kind of text it will come up with an error if i try to run you see this yeah but if i try to comment so i say this is my first comment and if i try to run this it will not give me an error because that's a comment which is started with an hash yeah now if i try to run something print i like i yeah and if i try to run this it will run only the print command now again if i try to add some comment about this particular line i can say this is my second comment yeah again this will not run you see this yeah because it has been identified as hash and it shows me that this is a this is not a command but this is a just a write up or an annotation for this particular code since it has started with hash yeah you can have multi line comments so i can say hash this is my my first comment hash this is my second comment yeah hash this is my third comment yeah hash this is this is my fourth comment yeah if i try to run this you'll see that nothing would happen i would not get any output because all this four are comments there is there is nothing to for the python compiler to run as such uh, and run or execute as such and give us an output now this multiple comments i have written hash multiple times as i said earlier you can use triple quotes as well so i can add triple quotes and say this i'll copy this entire thing 
and I have my multi-line comments. Okay. Uh, let me do this. Yes, yes, I have this comment. I'll remove hash from everywhere and end it with hash again, uh, triple quotes again. Yeah. And I'll run this. You'll find It should ideally not run. Why it is running? Let's give me one minute. It should not give any output. It really doesn't run. Multi line comment. And this is something funny. Usually, you should uh, use hash. Let me see why triple quotes is not working. It happened that way. This is uh, uh, a new thing for me as well. Really, triple quotes is being used to denote multi line comments. It does. Yeah, it does triple quotes. It should take. Again, if we put one, two, three. I should take it as command. It should not run anything. Let me see if it runs. Print, uh, let's see whether it prints. Yeah. You see, it has ignored the previous comment. Since I have not returned any command, it has taken this particular thing and it has printed it. But if as soon as I put a command, it ignored this entire multi-line comment and it printed the output which is supposed to be there. Yeah. So there was nothing uh, wrong in it. Either you can use uh, double quotes three times or you can use single quotes uh, three times to comment this multi-line comment. Yes. Uh, the next syntax that you need to understand in uh, Python is uh, about blank lines, okay? Using uh, blank uh, lines in uh, Python. Yeah. Now, a line containing only white space, possibly with comment, is known as blank line. And Python totally ignores it, as we have seen above. Yeah. Now, but in some interpreter, uh, like interactive interpreters, you add uh, blank lines to close the code. Yeah. We cannot see it right now, but you need to always understand using blank lines is uh, used to terminate a multi-line statement. That's it. Yeah. Let's uh, ignore it as of now, but you need to just remember it uh, for the namesake. 
yeah you can uh, have the screen to wait for an input yeah you can have command which will help the screen for uh, for an example i'll say input this is the command for uh, asking the person to input so i can say enter your name yeah and it will ask for the screen for an input I, as soon as i run this command you see it is waiting for me to input a name so if i say nilesh desai yeah and i press enter it will finish this entire thing and it will give me an output yes so waiting for the user to input so you can use input command which is very much useful for uh, getting inputs outside the command line yeah here now yeah, when the user presses the key the program ends you need to keep a look out, uh, look out at that the program or the line section ends then it may execute and then another command yes another thing uh, that you need to understand about uh, i think is multiple statements on single line you can have multiple statements on single line by dividing them with a by dividing them with or by dividing or separating by separating this could be a better word separating each command with a semicolon you know what is semicolon yes so let's try to run something i would say a is equal to 10 semicolon b is equal to 20 and i'll say a i need to have a semicolon and i'll say c equals to a plus b comma print c yeah and again i have missed it semicolon now i run it you'll find i have written multiple statements on a single line yeah but in an another case if i would have not done that i could have written this command this way as well And if I run it, it will still give me the same output. Yeah. But I have used it on the same line. So I have to separate it by semicolon for Python to understand that all these commands are separate commands are not the single line of commands. Yeah. Or it will throw me with an error. Yeah. So need to understand that. The last thing that you need to understand is about sweets. Yeah. What is sweets? As uh, it is uh, multiple statement groups. Yeah, multiple blocks. blocks of statements yeah we call them as suites yeah now uh, now this kind of block can happen when you have compound or complex statements now you have compound uh, 
or complex statements. Now, this would be like if while loop, yeah, you create a function uh, with the help of def, or you have, or uh, you have a class that you are trying to define. That is called a sweep. Yeah, we have seen this kind of thing in our earlier. Uh, Blocks. I'll try to write a new thing over here. So it can be if A equals to 10, print 10. L if a is equal to 20, print 20. Else, print, I have not added the full, so print. Yeah. So this particular block, yeah. Now the header of the block always starts with a statement with the keyword, which is if and all, and terminate with a colon. Yeah. And are followed by one or more lines which make up the suite. Yeah. So if is a keyword after which this entire block starts, which is called a sweep for us. Yeah. So I guess uh, this is uh, well enough to understand what are the syntax of uh, the various syntax of Python, which you need to understand while, while we start working on further commands in this particular tutorial. Yeah. I hope you like this session where you got a basic understanding of the syntax of Python. And uh, we can start working on the basic concepts from our next video. Thank you so much.